Welcome to Southwest Yard and Garden. I'm John White. Today we're going to be talking about fertilizing lawn grasses, and this will be primarily the Bermudas in the southern part of the state. With us today is Dr. Berent Lionhauer. Dr. Lionhauer is going to be talking about the different aspects of fertilizing a lawn, what fertilizers are, and how to apply them correctly. Berent, welcome to Southwest Yard and Garden. Thank you, John, and uh, thank you for having me on the show today. Okay. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, fertilizing Bermuda grass yards, and one of the big things is why do we need a fertilizer? Well, John, uh, a sound fertilization program uh, on your lawn is very important. It uh, can help your lawn in many ways to improve. Uh, usually the color gets greener of your turf. The uh, turf density improves, which is important uh, because a dense turf keeps the weeds out. It, uh, fertilization is important to improve rooting, which uh, can help uh, saving water in your irrigation program. And then uh, fertilization is also important to help your turf recuperate from wear or from heavy abuse, which is important, or which may be not so important on uh, home lawns, but it is important, for example, on athletic fields, soccer fields, football fields. I don't know if you've got a lot of kids and dogs, it's, it's important. Absolutely, I agree. Uh, if you have a lot of wear on your home lawn, on your turf, then you need a good fertilization program. Okay. Well, let's look at a fertilizer sack and take some of the mystery out of a bag of fertilizer. Baron, we have a sack of fertilizer here, and uh, fertilizer is always a mystery to homeowners, and there's a lot of numbers that uh, people just don't know what, the, what they mean. And uh, when a person goes to a nursery or garden center and picks up a bag of fertilizer, what are some of the things that we want to look at as far as the bag of fertilizer? Yeah, John, uh, if uh, we go and uh, buy a fertilizer, we should look for a complete fertilizer. And a uh, complete fertilizer is a type of fertilizer that has at least uh, three nutrients in it. And the way uh, how we know that we have a complete fertilizer is that we look at these numbers here. This, this, for example, this, this bag here has uh, three numbers on it, a 20, a 4, and an 8. And the three numbers indicate the amount of nutrients that are in the bag. The first number, 20 here, says 20% 20 of the bag is nitrogen. The second number, 4, 4% 4 is phosphorus. And the third, in this case 8, tells us 8% 8 of the fertilizer is potassium. Okay. And all three nutrients make it a complete fertilizer. These, these three types of uh, nutrients are what uh, the turf needs the most. Now once we've uh, purchased the product, the fertilizer, and we're uh, going to utilize it, how much of this are we actually going to put on? Talking, what would a bag like this cover? Talking um, for a Bermuda grass turf, we are looking at uh, about one pound of nitrogen per growing month. Okay, and that's actual nitrogen? That's actual 100, nitrogen. 100% yeah. nitrogen. Yeah. yeah, you have to consider here in that bag only um, if you buy a 50 pound bag or 25 pound bag of fertilizer, only 20% is actual nitrogen. So you have to do your math first to uh, establish exactly how much fertilizer you have to put down to get one pound of nitrogen per thousand square feet. Okay. And uh, once we've determined those numbers, um, we're going to put this out and the nitrogen does what for the grass? Nitrogen is uh, what we call a macronutrient and it's probably the major nutrient. Uh, it just, just what I said at the beginning, it is um, responsible for the green up in the spring. It is responsible for the color in general. It increases the, the, the green color of the, of the turf. It also has an effect on rooting, on, um, on the depths of the rooting. So uh, nitrogen is really the key nutrient that we look at when we fertilize. Okay, and then phosphorus? Phosphorus is also important uh, for the rooting system, but uh, with, with phosphorus, uh, we, we sometimes have soils in the backyard that already have adequate uh, phosphorus levels, and then it's not, it's not that important. To determine how much phosphorus we have to give our yard, we should uh, uh, pull soil samples and send them to a soil testing lab. They determine for us how much phosphorus is actually needed. Okay, 
And then our last number, potassium? Our last number, potassium, plays a major role in drought resistance, has an effect on rooting, has an uh, effect on, on cell building, cell production of the, of the plants, but its major role is for drought resistance, so potassium really plays a key role in this part of the state. Okay. Well, why don't we take a sack of fertilizer and talk about some applicators and show people how to, how to put it out. That is a very good idea. Baron, we have a couple different types of applicators here. Can you tell us a little bit about the pros and cons on these? Which one's better or why? John, there are basically two ways of uh, applying your fertilizer in your backyard. Two types of spreader. There is the cyclone spreader and then there is the drop spreader. The drop spreader uh, just has uh, holes at the bottom and that's okay. where the fertilizer pellets fall out, drop out. Okay. And the cyclone spreader has a plastic disc here that moves while you push it. Okay. And that rotating disc makes the uh, fertilizer pellets uh, fly to both sides. So that covers about an area of a couple of feet to each side. And this drop spreader here covers only about a good foot or so. Okay, now the these needles. scales or numbers that yeah. are on them? There are, there are numbers here. Uh, on the drop spreader, and they, this number indicate the setting uh, for your calibration. And that's okay. a number that you usually get from the back of your uh, fertilizer bag. Okay. You have to look for the number or for the setting of a drop spreader. You loosen the knob, this knob here, you set it to the appropriate number, and then you tighten it again, and then you know exactly how much fertilizer you'll apply to your backyard. The same here. We also have a little knob here. We loosen the screw, set the knob, and tighten the screw again, and then the spreader is calibrated. Okay. Well, let's put a little fertilizer in, and let's let's uh, let's see how you do it. And very important, John, after fertilization, you have to water your lawn. Okay. Well, Baron, thank you very much for being on Southwest Yard and Garden, and I'm sure these tips are going to be helpful for our viewers. If you do have additional questions on lawns and fertilization, contact your local county extension office.